raining all day so I decided to take a few moments to upgrade some stuff that I've been wanting to upgrade on my Outback and my wife's Pro Angler. Uh, I didn't record uh, installing the Groovy Track. I can give some few tips if anybody has any. There's a couple foam pieces in there that kind of get in the way. But the Groovy Track install on the Pro Angler is fairly uh, the same. It looks good. It fits well. It allows for a little bit more track. People complain about it. I bought the HD kit and I have zero problems. Uh, but today, what we're here for and what you saw across the little banner when you clicked on this, hopefully, is I'm going to do a pro angler swap rudder on my Outback. Uh, we're gonna go through a few things. It's basically gonna be realigning everything. Uh, right now, I just dropped my rudder. I've never really had any problems that people were having. They say they're having tracking problems and whatnot but I haven't had those problems so but I dropped my rudder <laughs> and it is pretty warped uh, but I never have felt that but the pro angler rudder is you we'll, we'll, we'll compare the two is definitely more substantial than this Outback rudder this is gonna be neat uh, I'm gonna try not to curse <laughs> right uh, and anyways if this is something you like please like and subscribe this will be still fat outdoors we'll be back in just a minute trying to get some of these things done try to get the tools together and kind of go over that thanks all right so we're out here the first thing we're gonna do is drop this rudder down pretty simple there's one screw drops it down with well, the first also before you do this there is I'll take you up to it a couple things make sorry couple things make sure you release your rudder uh, it gives you some hey buddy <laughs> dog uh, it gives you some slack right here and able to untie it you'll see this is just a simple knot you able to do it you can hear my dog back there I'm gonna have to let him back in I have to pause for the cause again but this is gonna be a simple drop down uh, and able to get you into working on this rudder the way you should be working on it be right back Okay, we're going to untie this first part right here uh, and get it untied and then we're going to move by dropping the rudder. We'll switch back and forth from the GoPro to this, okay? So first simple knot is a nice little square knot. We're going to just untie that. Probably need a pair of pliers because it's been tight the entire time, which I was exactly right. Let me get a pair of pliers. All right, we're back with a pair of pliers. Hope you all can hear this. And uh, I'm just gonna undo this knot here. I say that, but figure it out. So you wanna take up all the slack you can. I just pulled all that back out so that means I have nothing on the inside there. See where this knot starts? So just remember, this knot is not going to be an easy. Haha, <laughs> the knot's not going to be an easy thing. GoPro, start recording. <sighs> I guess my remote is dying. Well, no, it's saying it's recording. It's just freaking out. I'm going to turn it off. So my remote needs to be recharged. These are great as long as they stay charged, just like anything else. When they stay charged. They're great. All right, so continuing on, I got this knot. I'm trying to get this undone, and we'll go from there. Uh, 
Just remember this knot has been used to put tension on your rudder the entire time. And it's going to be a pain in the neck. You're going to want to cut it. I do not recommend it. I recommend you cut, get it as loose as possible with a pair of pliers just to preserve the length. Usually if you find the bottom portion, hold one and kind of work against your pliers. You can get it loose. And there we go. So cord is free. You do not want to pull that back. Let me make sure this stays in here because I don't know how hard that would be to actually get back through the boat. So our knot's undone. I'm going to go up top. There's my cat. I'm going to go up top and undo this. It takes a simple Phillips head. And what I'm going to try to do is just, well, there it went. Just leave this screw up here to be fine. So as you can see, I've released, I've released the entire rudder. I have this part here I'm going to preserve. Um, there is a spring inside that everybody talks about being a bear to get to work. So we're going to work on that together. Um, you can see how badly warped this is. Very, very good rudder though. I have had zero problems with it. I know a lot of people, I mean, I guess you can straighten them out. Definitely had some scrapage. I mean, kicks up, gets stuck up there. I wish they kind of remedy that you kind of got to wiggle it around but it comes back down pretty nicely uh, at this point in time check everything here make sure all your threads are looking good make sure your your bolt and whatnot's looking good so we're gonna get this I'm gonna compare the two real quick for you this is a Hobie original equipment I did not get it from a friend I purchased it directly from uh, I believe this one came off Amazon, but everybody who sells Hobie sells Hobie. So this is this the straight line. You can see the, the huge difference. So I'm gonna have a very, very big difference in here. So the straight line is gonna remain the straight line here. The back is gonna be changed. Um, you can leave the pretty much leave the profile of the straight piece right here. Um, and we're gonna have to remove this down to here uh, in order to keep this fin when it comes up in the same type of profile. Um, I don't want to move, remove a lot, but uh, I do want to remove a good bit. I said I wanted to use a a nice. I mean, good lord, look at the. I don't know if y'all can catch that, but the thickness difference. Over here is Pro Angler, over here, excuse me, over here is Outback, and then over here is Pro Angler. Size difference is monstrous. Size difference is monstrous. And uh, figuring out how to make these go together is going to be fun, needless to say, because there's the difference. All right, I'm gonna go pull these this guy off, and hopefully the spring won't go, um, which is always always fun when that happens. Um, be right back. Hello, we're back underneath the boat, getting kind of two angles here, just in case I miss one or the other. Um, we're gonna pull this rudder off of this rider here, and. Uh, get it put together it shouldn't be too hard it's just it's still just a screwdriver i haven't used any other tools yet i'll take that the way it goes i don't know how this spring's going to end up reacting so i'm kind of holding everything um everybody tells me the spring is a bear uh i don't know anything about it i'm never taking one apart so we're riding this train together It definitely has some tension under it, so be careful. And there it comes. So the spring is pushing it out. You can kind of see here, the spring's pushing it out. Come right back. Like I said, we're gonna come back. I didn't change anything. I just wanted to get another shot differently. 
So I'm going to pull this out really nice and slow. I want to pay attention to what I'm doing. I wish I could see more. So, so the spring, I see where the spring, so in here, you'll see a little nub. That's where the spring is loaded on the inside to the actual portion up here. I haven't found, I'm guessing the spring is going to be loaded on the top. Kind of like right here where this guy is. And that's going to be your two spring contact points. And that's what we're going to have to pay attention to. Okay. So we're going to take it out really nice and slow. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even under spring tension anymore. All right. Okay. So that's pretty easy. So, so if we took it out this way, I think loading it back up. Everybody's like, everybody talks about, oh, I bent my spring, I bent my spring, but I don't think it should be that difficult. It is a bear, but you just kind of got to work with it until you find that hole, and you should be good to go. So it just lifts off the spring. I'm going to leave this spring, well, it doesn't appear you can even take it out, but I'm going to leave the spring kind of out here, right here. This is the, the lower piece. That's what the spring looks like. Oops, it does come out, So, but I want to put it right back because I don't want to forget the way it came in. So it's going to go back in there, like so. And for now, I'm going to take my screw that I took out because I hate losing these things, and I'm just going to put it back in here together, okay? Put that aside. So now, what we're going to do is some comparing. So we know this back ledge is the ledge that comes up against the boat right here so I'm assuming using this front ledge to match things up that it's going to be very very close to the same um, the important part is this aligns itself these two holes here right here the spring and that are aligned perfectly I'm not gonna have an issue I'm not gonna have to modify this part right here thank goodness um, what I am going to have to modify is the size um, for it to come up and flush against the boat because this normally would sit up in that crevasse of the boat. So we're going to have to do that and then I'm going to have to, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a hard thing to do to uh, um, just screw a hole through here for that, that, that rise up. But I want to put it in a good spot, I'm pretty sure, once again, to match where things were. Um, but it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a lot of material removal. Actually, I'm going to pre-dry fit this one in to here and see what I need to remove from this section right in here for this piece. Uh, it won't hurt anything to kind of go through that. Um, once again, I had this screw put back in. That's okay. I'd rather do that instead of lose it. There goes the spring again. He just wants to fall out. I think he's... A symmetrical spring so no matter way you put it but once again I'm not gonna faff around with that at all so it goes back in there so the flat side is this way so I'm definitely you can see there's no alignment there's no way to align it. It only comes to like right there. There goes that spring again. But there's no way to put that in there. So I'm going to have to remove a fair amount of this here uh, to make this work. So what I'm assuming so is kind of to match that. I'm going to remove all this here and then this in here. So what we'll do is we're going to marker and we'll mark it down. So my second tool will be a marker. Amazing. Second tool is a marker. Uh, but we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. We're going to do our first mark area to kind of get this done right. I'm hoping that uh, we're going to go, we're just going to go slow through this. We're just going to take it easy. I'm going to line it up a little bit different than what I thought I was going to do because I, this way to remove different pieces, but we're going to remove a lot of this here. Um, 
and then we'll see what it looks like. We, we may go back and forth. We may figure out fits. We may figure out differences. But I'm going to remove this part here. I don't really... I'm going to just use simple... I have a grinder in there. I got some... I got a... Um, you know, a couple different things to remove material. And I'm going to sand it down make it a little bit nicer. But I'm not going to sand it down until the very end. Because there's really no need to sand it down uh, until you're done. But what I've done is made this first mark... Because I believe this is the most important mark here in order to make your, at least the first part of it, function. To make it actually, ah, I lost the nut. <laughs> I busted my nut. No, I didn't. So, to make the first part of it function and actually be able to get this in here. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to remove. Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm not going to take you through this. I'll be back after I get this cut out. Okay, we're back. A uh, couple different things to go over. I tried a couple different. I tried a, a small sawzall. I have like a handheld sawzall. No avail. Uh, ended up having the hacksaw or jigsaw. Ended up being the best choice for this. Um, you can see why. This is a very, very strong uh, piece of plastic. So once again, we're going to line this up. It looks a lot better there. We're going to look at it on here to see what kind of differences we gained here. So I'm still not all the way up. I need to take some more material away. But like I said, we can always, you know, we're almost there. Um, but uh, you can't you can't add it, but you can always take away. I think that's a, a adage that everybody knows. As you can tell, this is backwards from what this is. I'm probably just going to leave this higher. I don't, there's no need to cut anything off. You don't have to. Make it look the best. Um, it won't catch anything. It'll be good. So there's my new line. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we'll try the best. And get right back to you. All right, so we're back. Remove some more here. Like I said, I'm not going to finish this off until I figure out exactly where I'm at. I'm finish it off with a couple of things of sandpaper, get it nice. But well, the first step is to get this thing fitting into here properly so let's see all right so that looks like it that is that's going to be it it fit in there nicely i have full range now what i'm going to try to do is put the spring on here doubt it. i don't doubt any of those people who have guided somewhat before me and uh try to figure it out but let's see let's get a good laugh at me Oh wow. Okay. So it's in there. There we go. Oop, oop. Yep, it's a bear. Like this it it's a bear. Alright. Hold everything with the three hands that you have and uh go from there. We're gonna actually put this on. I'm uh what I wanna do is put this on and see how much I actually need to remove to make it work underneath this boat. I don't want to remove any if I don't have to. Uh, I'd like to keep it. Um, I'd keep it as intact as possible. So this thing kind of goes forward more. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm guessing because there's that little spot right there that isn't isn't here on this one. I don't know if you can see that. So there's this little spot right here keeps the rudder if you notice the rudder kind of goes forward so you have a straight line here and it goes forward I don't have a problem with that uh, I can definitely remedy that by building up some stuff in here without a problem and I probably will do that just to make sure it does that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go now underneath the boat and we're gonna see how much of that I have to remove. So as I said I have it installed you can kind of see how big it is I wish I kind of wish I didn't have my other boat underneath here it would show a little bit more let me get some of this crap out of the way I wasn't prepared I guess tools from the other installation were there here's the reveal there's my other boat with my anchor there so I'm gonna move it out of the way real quick there we go by the way I don't store my pro angler on tubes why i have a whole nother trailer i can use so we can get more than that later okay beast of a rudder beast of a rudder not gonna hate on it at all this looks kind of funky 
no big deal. Uh, this is probably going to get cut off down here. So you can see, I mean, I guess I could live with just keeping all that rudder just like that. But what's going to happen, you can see right up here, I don't know if you can see, uh, that's going to hit and it's not completely withdrawing up. Now, to withdraw up, boom, I'm going to probably remove this line and then just bring it all the way down. And then I'm probably going to add some plastic up here uh, with some plastic welding techniques. Uh, steer's fine, comes up and down. Get the other one for you. So, I mean, look, I mean, that's a that's a beast of a difference. And I mean a beast of a difference. I'm gonna get about another six inches there. Yeah, whatever, I still drag with this one. I don't really care. It's just, this is gonna be so much, so much more responsive, I hope. I'm gonna keep my old one. Um, but I just don't see this one bending the way that the other one did. I mean, this thing's straight as a, straight up and down. Good to go. Uh, a lot thicker. Not gonna be a lot sturdier. I mean, definitely gonna displace some water better. Um, and then that'll be that. But we're gonna do some more modifications. Okay, I don't know how much of that I actually got. Um, but I was trying to give a tip. I don't think I started recording again. Not used to recording with my actual camera. So what I've done is I've taken the, the bolt that holds onto the rudder, I run it through both in order to aid in holding it still while tracing, okay? So right here's through both. It's gonna hold it still, keep them together. Also, from looking at a couple things, before I get to removing a bunch of material, what I'm gonna do is, if you look here, I have some kick up where it kind of kicks. Actually, this is kicked down the, the way these, I have these upside down. Uh, it goes back down. Well, there's no interference underneath this boat. The boat actually starts listing back upwards, a little bit of rocker back upwards. And so the last thing that really touches your boat is this down air here so what i'm going to do in order to preserve a lot of this this length and 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 basically uh steering power in other words surface area i'm going to keep this straight for now maybe i'll do a little bend at the bottom but i'm gonna keep this straight for now and not do this return i don't know if that's something but like i said i'm not going to remove a lot of material before actually figuring this out um, when the material gets removed, it's removed. It's done. I have to buy another one. They're not so expensive. They're about $31 plus the shipping, the Hobie shipping, $5 anywhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, get it from your local guy. It's about the same as tax. I think that's what they're trying to do. So anyways, I'm going to trace this out. I'm going to get this thing cut down. I'm probably going to add this little, this little junk piece right here to the big rudder with some, uh, welding techniques, um, that I've learned from fixing boats and whatnot. Uh, so it doesn't go forward as much. So I do have an up and down area. And hell, that may may not work, but I'm still gonna try it. Uh, anyways, I'll get back to you. Uh, I'm gonna throw this trace on here. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do a straight as line as possible because I don't wanna remove any extra. So I'm gonna find this high point, which is pretty much where I left off. I'm gonna leave this little nub right here for uh, screwing into that, but I'm gonna find this high point and I'm just gonna go straight back from there, what I consider straight back, uh, at least following this line. Uh, we'll go from there and I'll come back to you. Okay, we're back with our new profiled rudder. Uh, it kinda goes along, like I said, with the old rudder. However, like I was telling you, I didn't see the point of taking away all the extra. So what I've done as I've left, you see how this starts coming back in. I've left this coming straight down. This is gonna provide me a little bit more surface, a little bit more, you know, area of what it was. Uh, I have, I feel happy with this profile. I'm gonna hang it up underneath and I'm gonna give you all a good shot of that. Um, I'm happy with what I've done up here. It could have been prettier for the mount for there. Uh, what I gotta do is, as you can tell, I need to add some material up here. You can see uh, this side doesn't have the material. So what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, like I said, plastic weld some bit. I've done it before. I don't think it should be a problem, but I'm gonna add a little bit to match this up, to get it all fixed in, and uh, hopefully it won't drop forward. I don't know how important that is to, I think it's important if you like ram into something, 
um, it, you know, it'll come back better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to put the spring in because I think it's a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm going to uh, put this back on um, here. Put the, I can put the nut in if I want. I guess I should. Just to kind of get a decent idea of what's going on. So yeah, that goes back in. Once again, pretty much all hand tools. I used uh, a jigsaw to cut the profile. There we go. Like I said, it's going to pop forward until I fix that. Oops. It's going to pop forward, so it should be more or less here. Uh, I can add that piece in. It's not going to be hard at all. Um, but I used the the uh, jigsaw to cut this profile. This is a fiber. It looks like it's fiberglass reinforced. There was some little bit of fibers coming out. I hope I didn't mess that up, but it's a, definitely a resin fiberglass reinforced type thing. So I think it's going to be a lot nicer. Uh, won't have the whole bendy thing. Uh, my next question is going to be is the dun -da -da -dun -da 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 loader. <laughs> am I going to hit this? Am I going to be able to still use this loader? Do I, am I going to have to modify this loader? Am I going to have to build a separate loader, a different loader maybe? I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, I'll set this thing on the ground as hard as this thing is. I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. So hold what you got. I'm going to put this back underneath and so we can see what, uh, what we got going on there. Deal? Cool. All right. <laughs> This looks great. It came out much better than I thought. I put it on here. It looks good. It's long. It's long though. So I'm gonna switch you around and let you take a look at it yourself. All right. So that beast is long. Uh, so anyways, got this here. This looks awesome. Super long, as you can tell. Almost touching the boat below. Uh, I got a couple feet in between that. But here we go. So you can see how See how it's, there's the back of the boat, sticks out, comes up. I was right about removing that piece. You can see I got no, can I see it down the line? There we go. I got no impediment on the boat itself. There you go. Let's see if I can get a better angle. It's not touching the boat anywhere. I didn't have to remove extra. I got to gain some surface, more surface uh, area with this. Um, really happy. So. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add this uh, this piece right in here with some plastic welding. Uh, I'm not going to go over the plastic welding. It takes a long time. I got to heat the iron up. I'm not going to go over that with you. If you want that, please write down in the comments uh, that you want to see some plastic welding done. I don't mind doing it at all. Uh, I just know you need to use the same material. Uh, to do some welding. I don't know exactly how this resin is going to hold up. It does seem like it is a resin. Um, I, I may have to come up with something completely different to keep this from flopping it forward the way I don't like it. Um, that's the only negative so far is that it's going forward a bit. But I think I can. I have a couple different ways that I might do this other than the plastic weld. I think the plastic weld is going to look the cleanest, but I have a couple different ways to do it. Um, and I think this is going to be really cool uh, having this done properly. So we're gonna get that uh, iron heated up. I'm gonna get a plastic welder. We're gonna come back, and you're pretty much gonna come back the way, uh, the way that I've I've left it here, but with that piece in, so it won't go forward anymore. And I'll probably put the spring in, and I'll probably be done with this install. This has been a pretty seamless install. I don't think anybody should be scared of it. Um, uh, if you have basic knowledge of tools, a good steady hand, uh, a lot of sandpaper, or some type of sander. Um, I'm not going to get it pretty. This is a rudder. This is a rudder. This is a tool. I'm not going to get anything pretty on here. I scratch the hell out of it. I fish out of this. So, uh, but we're going to come back to this. All right. All right. We're back. I, uh, I told you it's not going to be pretty. I didn't really care if it was going to be pretty. I just put this little stop in here and what that does is going to keep my rudder from running forward on me. That's all it did right there. Just put a stop in it. Boom. And that's it. So now I get to fight with this spring again. Hopefully this little piece right here won't have to be modified some more that I just installed uh, and be like ground down or moved around or something uh, because I need that stop there. So what I'm gonna do is put this son of a gun back together and we'll go from there. And I counter, I, I did make my hole for my, my line right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I countersank on both sides. Made it, just make it pretty, I guess. 
said I wasn't really worried about it, but I guess I did. Um, be careful, burrs, because that is where a line is going to be going to. Um, but the good thing about this, if you lose this line, your rudder stays down and not up. Um, so. So I finally got it back together. Uh, just pay attention to that. I had a bear of a time trying to figure out um, what was up with the stupid spring. My spring's never been really that strong. I've never been really happy with the springs to drop these down. Um, even with this little guy, it's just like, you know. So I don't know, maybe replace the spring, but it comes down like the way it's supposed to. Um, Maybe loosen that up a little bit, but I'm going to install it and we'll take a look at it last, not least. Okay. Got it back together. Okay. We're back. It's back installed. I was having some problems dropping and I thought, duh, maybe I just over tightened the screw. That's what I did. So if you're ever uh, having an issue with your rudder not falling the way it's supposed to fall, check that screw right there. That screw has a lock washer on the back. Shouldn't come out. Uh, I hope it doesn't come out on mine. I got it backed off a little bit. I'm having a perfect fall every time. The spring is enacting. I'm going good right there. I haven't, I mean, I've done like nine or 10 cycles. I retied my rope, simple square knot, not a big deal. I've got a nice solid straight down. Um, that was a good install. I kept a lot of, 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 of uh, surface area. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, like I said, ugly up here, but I put the stop in so it wouldn't go forward. So, uh, one more thing that I'm sure a lot of people want to see is how does this thing work out? So I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to leave you right here and I'll come back to put in the, uh, the little guy here that helps it not, uh, break the other rudder, which I don't think this one's going to break. I think this was a lot stronger. I mean, I'm talking, we're talking close to three eighths inch thickness compared to whatever that was. All right. Stand by. Okay, we're back. And just as I thought, it doesn't work. Don't really care, but it doesn't work. Uh, I may modify this just by cutting into this, maybe rewelding something inside here, but it does not work. You extend that rudder, yeah, give and take. Once again, I'm not really worried about it. I usually offload on the pretty soft sandy beaches. Um, very rarely will I offload this onto direct concrete. Uh, I do have a cart, sea uh, tug, which is what I use with this. And, uh, but I rarely use that either. I just kind of drag it. Uh, but I don't do a lot of concrete offloading. I, the PA is the, the bass boat. This is more or less the, the creeks and rivers for some saltwater fish. But anyways, uh, this, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I'll try to answer all of them as I can. This is still fat outdoors coming at you with a little janky install of a pro angler rudder uh i'll do a feedback uh excuse me i'll come back to this and do kind of a write-up on how i felt that i like this while steering i pretty much sure i'm gonna like this um can't see how it can be any worse peace have a good time fish when you can hey everybody just a little uh appendix shall we say uh, about the rudder install. So the width of the portion that goes into the steering column is about one point, or excuse me, 11.66 millimeters wide throughout on the outback rudder. The width on the pro angler rudder is about 12.33 millimeters. All I did was take a nice random orbital sander and did it until they matched solve the problem with the rudder dropping down by itself with the spring you don't need to do any spring improvements you don't need to get a stronger spring there's a difference there that's why it's not dropping properly it's kind of hanging up basically it's friction that's all it is so if you're having issues there try that thanks remember like and subscribe please or don't it's not a big channel anyways <laughs>